Thank you, everyone, for joining physically or virtually. We are live streaming this. And uh, welcome to Funding the Commons. My name is Evan Miazano. I am the head of the team, formerly Protocol Labs Research, um, now Network Goods. And uh, I am here to give a couple of um, easy answers to brief questions and then a few logistical items, et cetera. Um, this should be pretty quick. I realize we're a little bit behind schedule, and we're, I think we're going to make up that time uh, pretty easily. Uh, as far as reiterating the motivation behind bringing this group together, we really wanted to uh, begin motion toward real improvement of tools and experiments to create new types of or foster the increased creation of commons public goods and other types of network goods term that I'm, I will define shortly, well, I start defining shortly, um, and do this for the good of humanity. There is a strong ethos that uh, there's a lot of coordination failures or inability for people to describe, collaborate on, and progress the nice things that we as humanity think we should be able to accomplish if we all work together. And so the question becomes, can we take the resources from people who are trying to deploy those resources and make this happen and help like connect them with, uh, sorry, take funders who are willing to experiment on tools like this and connect them with people who are experts in large complex systems in which these problems are often entrenched and connect both of those with builders who are going to work on and progress the tools that we think might facilitate humans generally to create more of these goods. And so I would assume that all of you are here because you fall into at least one of these three channels, or one of these three categories, and I would hope and encourage you to try and find people from other groups and identify the ways that you alone maybe can't solve the problems that you care the most about, but ways in which you can collaborate with people from other groups in order to uh, build more robust solutions. And so uh, part of, that's part of the reason why I had these shirts get made, which has, my name is blank, and I'm here to build or fund or accelerate blank. And there are pens there. I encourage you to take these, fill these out, and either today or tomorrow, wear them so that people can connect with you about the things that you're interested in. It seemed like a very easy conversation starter to have. Uh, in terms of what network goods are, I mentioned that that's the name of our team. You'll also see that it is on the sleeve of the shirts. Um, that is the team that I lead within Protocol Labs that is putting on this event. And the idea is that there are, you may be familiar with private goods, commons, public goods, uh, club goods. I think that in as we move from uh, more traditional economics into a world where so many interactions are in the digital space, you'll see that there are things that don't quite fit into these categories. And it's a new category that is being discussed is that of the anti-rivalrous good, things where the uh, having more people participate and use this good actually increases it. Um, examples being, like, I think any economist would say that a, the rivalrous or anti-rivalrous categorization would have you expecting that when a blockchain forked, for instance, that the total market capitalization of the two should be the sum of or less than the, um, the original amount. But now you see these market caps growing. There are things like um, ideas where if I steal your idea, it increases the popularity of the idea generally rather than decreasing it as if you stole something that wasn't an idea. So there are digital goods that don't fit well into any one of these categories, and I've started using network goods as an evolving term for goods that don't fall into any of these well. And the hope is that we can use this, use the fact that you can occasionally move goods between these categories in order to increase the number of, uh, increase the amount of empowerment that normal citizens have, the users of the technologies, or the uh, people to whom services are, these services are provided, with the idea being that there is a general trend toward centralizing the power toward, amongst those who have 
created or are custodians of the goods rather than giving power to the people who are users of that good. So uh, hoping to keep pushing on empowering more people rather, uh, empowering the broader set of people rather than simply the providers of those goods. This is, uh, I guess, worth potentially noting that the connection uh, from protocol labs uh, to uh, this, this effort is that Protocol Labs is focused on building decentralized internet infrastructure, and a lot of the tooling and philosophy cleanly extends into other types of network goods. Uh, one other thing that we're doing here that you'll see a lot of that I wanted to introduce is that we are experimenting at this conference with impact certificates. Uh, if you haven't heard about these, they are a potential building block for funding efforts retroactively. The idea, as I like to describe it, is um, that you could imagine having something like a baseball card that was uh, not, or sorry, you could imagine the analog of a baseball card for some other type of uh, impactful action. The reason that baseball cards are valuable is that people enjoy showing that they were a fan of something before, like, before the importance was known to the general audience. And I think that we could have, to, we could build tooling around that for uh, the creation and uh, support of public goods or like non-profitable impact generally. Uh, this is an idea that's been proposed before. It's worth noting that the ability to speculate is clearly insufficient to create a market for these types of things. And so the goal of impact certificates shouldn't be to have them to resell them. The goal should be to do something with them. And the experiment is that we ask the speakers to send us an impact certificate that they have either minted or had minted for them. And we can present that when we introduce the speakers. And so you'll get to hear about the great works that the speakers have been uh, supporting that are impactful, that may or may not be related to their talks. And if we can create this as a cultural norm, then we can have conferences be a venue where people celebrate unprofitable impact and thereby potentially increasing the amount of that impact. Uh, they'll be roughly formatted like this, and you'll get to see them. And uh, I hope you can reach out to any speaker about either their talk or the impact certificate that, they, that was presented about them uh, that they have. Uh, I also wanted to briefly thank the partners. We have a uh, series of talks, sessions in the upstairs room that are being organized by our partner organizations. And uh, a few logistical items, uh, the Wi-Fi, SSID, and password are there. Um, there is a specialty coffee shop uh, over here around the corner. There's also food that you probably found on level two. There's a courtyard that we have furnishing for if you want to sit outside and chat. You do have to go outside the building and around the corner. And I also wanted to remind everyone to sign up for the Tefra Labs workshop if you plan on joining. There is limited seating there. Uh, and then last up, I wanted to commit that we are recording all of these sessions and we are uh, live streaming them apparently without a delay, actually, and that we will take uh, ideas that you provide us and we'll try and take uh, action items from this, bring them on to the next Funding the Commons that we will have in probably about three months. It's been our general cadence. And I uh, want to remind everyone to check out the Code of Conduct and uh, report violations to us if that comes up. Uh, and other than that, I wanted to thank you all for coming again and thank the, uh, the team that organized this. If you see anyone with a walkie-talkie, please thank them. Uh, do not come up to me and thank me. They are the ones doing all the real work. 